In 1985, the U.S. Supreme Court ruled that the Howard Hughes Empire was owned by the nonprofit organization called the Hughes Medical Institute. This was after many, many long battles in the lower courts. And finally, in 1985, it was settled. This is a story about the men who were involved in getting this accomplished. How they, how they took over this man's mind and his money after, in 1967, when he moved to the penthouse of this Las Vegas casino. He bought this casino in 1967. He lived there till 1970, but his mind was not completely well then. His mind had been twisted with mental issues, and there was a group of people who got control of him, and they were the only ones allowed in and out of the penthouse. He trusted them. They did not smoke. They did not drink. They were. Uh, he felt comfortable with them, and this is the story of how they funneled much of his money into the Hughes Hughes Medical Institute. How the casinos he 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 owned he bought many many casinos back then, and how they lost hundreds of millions of dollars. Literally, they those every casino he had lost much money because of the people who had taken over his mind. The key player in this game was Bill Gay. That's a picture of him right there. Bill Gay was the key player. He orchestrated the whole thing. After Hughes died, after Howard Hughes died, he found this man. This was Howard Hughes's closest relative, Will Loomis, and he, he used Will Loomis to get to get control of the whole empire. He convinced Will Loomis to become part of the Summa Corporation, and that's a longer story, but that's the man right there, Bill Gay. He's the man who orchestrated the whole thing. He's a genius. After the U.S. Supreme Court ruling in 1985, he immediately sold huge medical, the Howard Hughes Medical Institute, he sold it to General Motors for $2.5 billion dollars. That's $2.5 billion with a B. In 1985, that was a huge amount of money. So this is a, a story of a man who had lots of money. His mind started to go, and a group of people who took over his empire. This all happened. And it's not surprising that this all happened in Las Vegas. And this is the casino that he bought, and he lived up in the penthouse. He liked to watch TV 24-7. If he wanted to get up at 2 o'clock in the morning, he wanted TV. And they didn't have that type of TV in Las Vegas. So he went ahead and bought a local TV channel. He just bought the local TV channel and um, gave them orders to have movies going 24-7. He got up at 2 in the morning. He wanted to watch a movie. And how did all that money get to Bain Capital? Well, remember the guys we just showed you earlier, Bill Gay? Well, his son was Robert Gay, and Robert Gay ran Bain Capital for 16 years. It's funny how all the dots get connected, isn't it? Yeah, very interesting. 